Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 17th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and these readings could happen at any time in the near future, and not every reading is for you, so let's just see what comes up. My pool's supposed to get installed tomorrow. Let's see what happens. What do we have for a message today? <clears throat> Queen of Wands is very attractive in a position of power. Uh, it's a time of growth. This is action time. High confidence, vibrating at a very high level. Um, very, very powerful energy. We have somebody here that is uh, in a really good place, put it that way. Uh, mentally, physically, good health. This is action being taken. We have somebody here that is uh, strong. I feel like there's some sort of sexy. I wanted to say strong and sexy. Um, interesting. Knight of Swords. Well, take a look at that. So, the Knight of Swords is your knight in shining armor, right? We have somebody here that is very, in a really good place in every aspect. I feel like, I mean, this is very, the Ace of Wands is a new start. It's a passionate new start. There's some sort of passion, desire, attraction here. There's somebody that is, is rushing in. They're coming in very, very fast. This is somebody that is uh, really chatty, really, really talkative. Um, they're on some sort of a mission. This is somebody that is, is really uh, coming in out of nowhere by the looks of things. This is somebody that is assertive, that is direct very direct we definitely have two people here we have one person that is obviously looking good feeling good as well looking and feeling good in a really good place and there's somebody that is coming in very very uh, fast I mean the knight of swords is a sudden arrival um, this is somebody that is very uh, chatty and talkative and vocal, um, expressive, uh, throwing themselves into the situation. This is somebody who wants to be in the lead, that wants to win, that sees something that they want and they're going for it. You can't stop this person. This person doesn't have any fear. This is an expert. Whatever this person does, they are uh, very good at whatever they do. <laughs> This is somebody that is very strong and determined and knowledgeable and attractive. So whoever this attractive person is, they are attracting somebody at a high level. That's the way I see it. And this person is not unstoppable. Okay, this person is unstoppable. Single-minded. It's like they know what they want. I must have that. So that's what that is. Ooh, Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles is where somebody finds their focus. They find their backbone to just do it. Even though it's not going to be easy, they realize it's going to take some work, but they're going to do it anyway. This is starting a new project, starting a new phase, just just doing it, starting something new. It is, it is new. Somebody is going to be receiving... I feel like it's an offer. Pages are messengers, but this is the Ace of Pentacles... It is a, what is the Ace of Pentacles in, in this person's hand? So there is a message that is coming that is, it's a very, 
well, it could be a messenger. Somebody may be getting a message. This could be a messenger. There is somebody that is coming in with some sort of communication. They are coming in fast. This is somebody that wants to put in effort. They may want to start over because pages, you know, this is like starting over. Or they want to start something. They're ready to start. So this is definitely ready to start. Ready to start something. And they realize, this is somebody that is very intelligent, that realizes that it's going to be work, that it's not going to be easy. And they realize it because they're dealing with somebody that is very attractive, very determined, very strong, very forthright. So, you know, so I feel like we have an individual here that has attracted somebody in an offer. They've attracted some sort of offer, definitely an offer that is coming, um, Whoever this person is that is coming in has a lot of integrity. There's a lot of integrity here. This is a hard worker that is not afraid of work. And they like, there's, there's, it feels like there's brassy. They're dealing with somebody that is very, very brassy. And powerful, you know. Four of Swords reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Interesting. Ace of Swords reversed. Okay. Six of Swords. We have a lot of Swords here, so we have a lot of thinking going on. A lot of thought. Somebody's doing a lot of thinking. Okay. Um, they're thinking about going down a path, they're thinking about putting in effort. They're thinking about uh, what they want to offer and what they want to do. They have been struggling. Somebody has been struggling with uh, moving on from something in the past. They have uh, given their power to somebody way in the past. And they're exhausted and fed up with that path. <coughs> Excuse me. I couldn't hold that in. I tried. Anyhow, um, now keep in mind that every word that ha that comes out of my mouth during a reading is part of this reading. There is somebody that is coming in very, very, oh, I don't know, I feel like it's nonchalantly. This is somebody that is very intelligent, very sharp as well. I feel like this person is is has a sharp tongue as well. They're assertive, they're brash, you know, they may seem like they are cold, but I feel like this person is very business-like. You know, they're business-like. They, they're cold. They uh, have some sort of armor around them. They have some sort of um, guard around their heart, probably, because of a previous relationship where uh, that blocked them. Because we have blockage a couple times here. Somebody has blocked perhaps uh, themselves from engaging in a new endeavor or a new project because of some trouble in the past. But I do see going, getting to a better place and facing fears and taking the lead. I think that we have somebody here that is ready. They are ready to go down a new path. And I feel like it's because they have some sort of attraction to somebody that they are highly... It feels like there's a strong sexual attraction. There's there's a strong in, in intellectual attraction as well. I feel like there's an opportunity for success here, but it will uh, no fear, no fear. And I feel like both of these people are needing to let go of their fear. Um, Anyhow, uh, Two of Swords reverse is seeing the truth. It's coming out of denial. Somebody has been blocking their heart. They've been protecting their heart. and But they've come to a point, they've reached a point where they are exhausted and fed up. And I feel like, I feel like they, uh, they're really, really tired. Somebody here is really, really, really tired. They are tired of waiting. It feels like they're tired of waiting for things to get better and they're just ready to go. They are ready to go. Um, there's some sort of blockage that is being removed 
And maybe it's fear. Maybe it's fear. Fear of building a new foundation. Fear of starting over. Fear of the work, you know, that will it, it will entail to start over. We have somebody here that has the skills to even be their own boss. We may have somebody here. This could be a, a business thing where somebody is taking charge to start a new project and become their own boss. Um, this could also have to do with a partnership where somebody is definitely headed to a better place. They're headed to a place where there is peace and serenity and they're leaving the trouble behind, they're leaving the troubled waters behind. But I feel like there's some sort, with that Ace of Swords reversed, that's lack of awakening, it's lack of truth, that's dishonesty. We have somebody here that um, I gotta clarify that Ace of Swords reverse because that's like not communicating, not waking up, you know, a lack of awakening. Somebody is leaving behind uh, a, a situation that they are powerless. There's no power in it. There's no truth in it. They're leaving behind a situation where there's no, but there probably is a lack of acceptance as well. But anyhow, uh, dishonest, no truth, no communication. Somebody is leaving something behind where there's no... truth in it. There's no truth. There's no power. It's it's uh, been weighing them down in some way. We have somebody here that is, is extremely sick of where they've been. Okay, they're sick of it extremely. Somebody is taking action to go down a path they're facing their fears. It's like, and it feels like they're they're just ready to stop living in this dead end situation that you they've been in. I wanted to say dead end a long time ago, so I don't I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel like a decision with the two of swords reversed. That is a decision that is being made to move on. Somebody is moving on. They're going to a better place. They are no longer going to be communicating with something that just about killed them, perhaps, or really, really caused them a lot of stress. But and, and I feel like there's been a period of healing, and and I feel like it's time to live again. It's time to live um, in a better place. Six of Wands. This is a hero. This is uh, somebody that is all done fighting. Because before the Six of Wands is the Five of Wands. This is the battle is over. So we have a victory here. We have somebody here that is uh, stepping into a victorious situation. There's probably public recognition. There could be some upcoming public recognition or support. Support from friends, family, uh, whatever, somebody. I do feel that there is uh, moving to a better place. You see these sixes. Sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. Somebody is definitely taking a journey. They are all done playing games. They're all done fighting and the battle is over. This is the end, okay? This is the end of a battle. This is making progress, progressing forward, taking the lead. Uh, also becoming, taking a leadership position. We have somebody here that is, is probably going to be put in a leadership position or well, we have a hero here. We may even have somebody here that has been in the military, a soldier or a warrior. I feel like we have a fighter here that it feels like this person has been in some sort of serious battle. Okay, they've been fighting. They've been fighting some sort of war. And it may have even been some sort of self-deception. Maybe it was a war with themselves. Anyway, the war is over. I feel like the war is over. This is going to a better place. Um... Something to do with the heart as well with that Two of Swords reverse. That's opening the heart. Um, it's time to relax again with the Four of Swords reversed as well. It is. I feel like relax. It's time to relax. And, 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 and maybe it has to do with healing. I feel like there's some sort of healing here. Um, healing the heart. Anyhow. We do have a yes answer as well. So somebody may be uh, saying, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready for this battle to end. I'm ready for something better. Um, taking 
a journey towards balance and harmony, leaving behind something, leaving behind the trouble. Somebody is traveling in a new direction. They, and it's like, there's no fear. It's like, all done. All done. Starting over. This is somebody that has found their moral backbone or they have found their ability to just do it. You know what? This I'm going to do it. This is a very attractive golden opportunity that is too good to pass up. I'm all done playing games. I'm all done fighting. I want this opportunity. I'm taking it. I'm done blocking my emotions. I'm done blocking my heart. I'm done staying put. I'm going to a better place. We definitely have somebody that is going to a better place. This is a win of some sort with the Six of Wands. It is a win. It's like winning. It's winning. It's winning something, winning a battle. The war is over. There's peace. There's serenity. There's uh, starting from scratch as well. Somebody's going to be starting from scratch. King of Pentacles reversed. The King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is very stubborn, very hard-headed, uh, uh, not interested in a relationship. We have somebody here that hasn't been interested in a relationship. They've been more interested in everything but in a relationship. Maybe they've been doing things that are illegal or they've been unfaithful in the past or they were too focused on their money, too focused on their uh, on everything but love the king of pentacles reversed we, i mean with the ace of swords reversed right underneath it. dishonesty we have somebody here that has been dishonest they are probably uh, and it could even be about health because the four of swords to me is a lot about health somebody may have been dishonest about their health or dishonest to, to themselves about uh our partnership because twos are about partnership somebody was dishonest with themselves they they, they were dealing with somebody that wasn't loyal, that wasn't faithful, that or that isn't faithful, that isn't loyal, that isn't stable, that isn't practical, that doesn't communicate with them, that there's no love in these cards. And they were, it, it, you know, it's time to wake up. And we have somebody here that has been refusing to wake up, refusing to take a new approach. But I feel like the time has come where this person is ready. And I feel like they've been urged. Maybe they've been urged by their family or their friends or their supporters to move on and I feel like there is moving on here we have somebody here that is moving on um, they're going to a better place I feel like there's travel involved as well there's some sort of traveling or moving literally moving somebody could be moving okay um, they have been blocking their emotions for long enough this is opening up totally opening up the heart and going in a new direction i do believe we have and this is seizing an opportunity somebody was missing an opportunity for love they weren't taking it because they were they were being dishonest with themselves about a partner that they were dealing with that was wasn't loyal that wasn't faithful you know that didn't want to put in the work but now they have another opportunity here this is a golden opportunity that can definitely lead to success and happiness and you know, really it can, but there, I feel like there's some sort of distance here. I feel like there's a little bit of a distance involved. So there may be some travel involved with this. Anyhow, I think this is the end of a battle. It's the end of a, of a, uh, a lie. And I feel like it's a self deceptive lie. I feel like somebody has been, um, in denial, right? They've been in denial with the two of swords, you know, and blocking themselves from, um, victory and success and happiness but i think it's over now i do i think we have some movement i think somebody is taking an opportunity that they did not consider in the past because i feel like there was a lot of waiting going on in games in games in game playing but i think there's an attractive opportunity that is right in the palm of somebody's hand and i think that there is a yes answer good luck